In the Pawnee tribe, there were several brave warriors who were known far and wide for their skills and courage. Among them were Blond Gekka, a wise and cunning strategist, Low Tides, a skilled tracker and hunter, Fire Tree, a fearless warrior with unmatched agility, Firewolf, a swift and stealthy scout. Night Arrow, a skilled archer with impeccable aim, Hawkeye, a master of long-range weaponry, Eagle Soul, a skilled horse rider, and Iron Bull, a powerful and fearsome warrior. One fateful day, a series of unfortunate events led to tension escalating between the Pawnee and Apache tribes. The Pawnee believed that the Apache had wronged them, and war seemed inevitable. It was decided that a small group of Pawnee warriors, including the aforementioned heroes, would embark on a mission to raid the Apache camp. Under the light of a full moon, the Pawnee war party set out, their hearts filled with determination and their spirits united. They traveled through vast plains, crossed treacherous rivers, and climbed towering mountains, inching closer to their destination. As they approached the Apache camp, the Pawnee warriors utilized their diverse skills to gather information and devise a plan. Blond Gekka, with his strategic thinking, developed a plan that would utilize each warrior's strengths. Low Tide skillfully tracked the Apache scouts, providing valuable intel to the team. Fire Tree and Firewolf scouted the perimeter, ensuring the Pawnee warriors remained undetected. Night Arrow and Hawkeye prepared their bows, ready to unleash their deadly accuracy upon the Apache warriors. Eagle Soul and Iron Bull stood strong, their presence alone striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. Under the cover of darkness, the Pawnee warriors crept towards the Apache camp. They moved with precision, silently dispatching any guards who crossed their path. As they reached the heart of the camp, chaos erupted. Pawnee, using their wit and knowledge of Apache customs, roused confusion and disarray among the Apache warriors. Screams and moans can be heard for miles as the Pawnee leave nothing, killing and pillaging everything. Burning the Apache camp to the ground leaving only the remnants of lodge poles and piles of hot ash. After the massacre, the Pawnee ride back proudly with their spoils of war, countless Apache ponies and scalps decorating their belts and horses.